In this lesson we're going to talk about object snaps. In my opinion, object snaps is probably the most important concept in the entire class and, and I would say it's probably the most commonly used feature within AutoCAD. All right. So basically what AutoCAD does for us is it allows us to draw more precisely. All right. Well, I'm going to make sure that object snap is turned off. All right. And suppose that I have a line that's already drawn here. Okay. So we're all done drawing that line. Ten minutes later, we come along and we realize that we want to draw another line that attaches to that line. All right. Well, I could just continue and do as I've always done, and that is just kind of get really close and draw my line such as that. And you know what? That is probably pretty close. All right. But if we zoom in here, we see that it's not actually right. There's a little gap there, even though I tried my my darndest to get that to be just perfect. OK. All right. So we want to be exact. All right. For several reasons. First of all, if you're going to be a professional, professionals always do things at a higher standard than somebody that's just doing it as a hobby. All right, so we want it to be perfect. Another reason is that uh, suppose that I have an object that uh, is an enclosed object. For example, suppose I were to draw three lines here uh, to form a triangle. And maybe I, uh, I might want to find the area enclosed in that triangle. Maybe that triangle represents the the um, the area of somebody's property. All right, And they want to know how many square feet or how many acres they happen to have. Well, if I have that little tiny gap in there, well, then AutoCAD is not going to compute the area properly. Okay, so we do want it to be precise. Another reason why we want to use uh, object snaps and do this absolutely perfect is it's actually easier. Okay, than just guessing. Right, when I drew that line in there, I was trying to position the cursor, and I'm sitting here trying to get it just right. Well, that took a several, you know, valuable seconds, and then it was wrong in the end. Okay, so we want to do this right. All right, so let's turn on object snap and let's draw another line and watch what happens as I get close to the end of that line. That little square appears and then the word endpoint appears. Well, what that says is that it found the end of that line. So if I press the button right now, even though my cursor is not right on that endpoint, it will actually attach itself to that endpoint. And you see there it is. All right, extremely cool tool. Okay, and so let's try that again. Boom! It found it, and and I'm done. Okay. Well, suppose that I want a line to attach maybe to the middle of this line, and go to the end of this line. Okay. Well, Object Snap can do that for us too. Let's draw another line, and. In order to get to the midpoint of that line, you can see that it's not actually finding it right now. All right. Well, we need to change some of the settings. Okay. So let me escape out of this. And the way that we change settings is well, one of the ways is we do a right click on the um, O snap icon down here or toggle. Again, that was a right click, not a left. Then we'll do a left click on settings. And that brings up this uh, menu here. All right. So currently, right now, the um, object snap setting is looking for endpoints and centers and um, intersections, extensions, etc. Right. But it wasn't looking for midpoints. So let's turn that on. And then we'll click on OK. So let's try that line command again. Okay. So line. And now you can see that uh, as I got close to the middle of that line, a little triangle appeared. Well, triangle means midpoint, squares mean endpoints. So now if I click, there it is. It found it exactly. Okay, now if I want to go to the endpoint of that line, you know, I just get close to it, and I'm done. Very, very, very cool. Okay, let's try another one. Let's draw a circle. And, um, Let's let's suppose the circle should be at the end of this line up here. Okay, so right now AutoCAD is looking for the center of the circle. So as I get close to it, there it is. It found that endpoint. So I just simply click and move away and click again. Very very cool. 
Um, of course, the same thing would be true if I want to go to the um, midpoint here. Or actually, let's go to midpoint over here uh, because the other one that I chose over here, um, it's not a very good example because there's two things going on here right now, right? There's the endpoint of the line and there's a midpoint. So you really don't know which one it's grabbing. All right, so just for demonstration purpose, let's find the midpoint of this one. There it is. Just click and make your circle. Very cool. Okay, well let's talk a little bit more about some of those settings. So I'm going to do a right click, then a left click on settings. And here we see that we have a total of five things uh, currently turned on. Well, typically you don't want a whole bunch of uh, snaps turned on because AutoCAD gets confused sometimes when you ask too much of it. All right, so I usually, you know, uh, turn those things on that I think that I'm going to use. All right, and then later on, uh, maybe I decide that uh, I want to use some of these other options. Well, you can turn them on and off anytime. Okay, so. I normally almost always have endpoint turned on because you know it's just so powerful. And very common, I usually also have center turned on. All right. All right. And so in some of the exercises that will be coming up, we'll talk about some of these other ones here. But a lot of them are going to be probably fairly self-explanatory. All right. And that's it.